Hello, welcome to Spurred On. I'm Rhys James wearing my Hotspur Blue. This is Spursy. You know Spursy by now. You know, like, those Spursy moments, like when you're the manager of a football team called Tottenham Hotspur and you need to announce your new captain. You're in a press conference, you go, and this is a big moment. Got to pick my new captain. Who's going to lead the team? And your mind goes blank and you accidentally say Eunice Kabul. And then four games later, you realise you hate the and you have to obviously go back on your word and obviously pick Hugo Lloris, who it should have been all along. Come on, Poch, sort it out. This is Spursy. This week's Spursy is not necessarily that topical to the week. It is actually the entire season. What a Spursy season. Guys, we've done it again. Fifth place, six points off fourth. The glorious, heavenly position of fourth. God damn it. It's happened again. Every year, I wake up in cold sweats from this nightmare and realise this is real f***ing life, you guys. Six points off, closer than we thought we were. And I'm thinking about all those little pathetic points that we dropped throughout the season. I'm thinking the double against Stoke, losing those games, 3-0 and I think 2-1, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, 2-1, I've had it verified um, by, that is, that's Jeeves. Um, I'm still using Ask Jeeves, I've got quite a dated computer. Uh, <laughs> I'm talking 2-1 uh, against Palace away, should have won that. The 3-0 against Man United, that is a six point swing game. We should have just, we should have come out fighting in that game. It's unbelievable, probably Kabul was still captain at that point, pathetic. Uh, I'm talking the 1-0 against Villa, that's where it all came crashing down. That's where our Champions League hopes really just disintegrated in front of us. 1-0, we're losing at home to Villa against Tim Sherwood. And that's the three points that kept Tim Sherwood in this league. Un Believable Spurs, such a shame. All season we've had Harry Kane digging us out, occasionally Christian Eriksen digging us out in the last minute of games. It's just typical Spurs, it's the new Gareth Bale. We've got to sort it out, get some new signings next season, hope the kids come good, and then we won't have to do Spursy anymore. This has been Spursy. Any other Spursy things this season that I've missed, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video if you liked it, and follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. I'm Rhys James, see you later. I am delighted to be having a chat with Darren Anderton at this time. Darren, welcome to the channel. 